Whoa, it's a talking bag that's infected the Disney universe with evil. It's your job to take that bag and throw it in the trash. Unless it's recyclable, in which case you should put it in the recycling bin. But uh, what's it made of, though? Plastic? Evil? Can you recycle evil? And if so, does it come back stronger than before? Questions this game does not answer. But I'll try to find out later in my own science experiment. It's Disney Universe, a fun youth-oriented game that allows you to play as a variety of characters, or at least characters dressed up in Disney costumes. Smashing, breaking, collecting, and adventuring through the Disney Universe. It's a rather delightful, fun game. And easy for all ages to pick up and enjoy. It also looks and sounds really good. It uses a wide variety of music and characters from numerous Disney and Disney Pixar films, like Pirates of the Caribbean, Alice in Wonderland, Wally, The Lion King, and Monsters, Inc. If the gameplay looks familiar, that's because you've probably seen something like it before. It's extremely similar to the Lego series of games. It's very easy to play. You run around and smash things. You'll never actually, quote unquote, uh, die. Unless you're Bambi's mom, in which case you're doomed. But in order to ace the levels, you do have to play with some skill. And believe it or not, it's actually not all that easy at times to not lose a character during the gameplay. Because uh, you can accidentally jump off of things quite easily, or get swarmed by enemies and not pay attention to your health bar. Level grade. Rotten! Because I jumped off that ship about 400 times. There's a variety of Disney-themed costumes in the game for movies like Finding Nemo, Tron, Aladdin and others, and each of the costumes can be upgraded to give them more power. As you find keys and use them to unlock chests for costume upgrades. I'm playing through the Lion King level as Tron. Now oh, come on, that's cool. <laughs> this game even has an unlockable Korra figure, but she's not quite as smoking hot as Korra from the movie. You unlock the new costumes as you play through the levels, and you collect all of the little uh, gold Disney things to buy new levels and also buy additional costumes. So like a lot of kids' games, there's a heavy emphasis on collecting and exploring, but at the same time, it's also uh, fun and catchy. It's a fun, relaxing game and probably a good game for those with young children just getting started with video games, because it's not very complex. But unlike some kids' games, it's also not so stupid, repetitive, or completely juvenile that you can't sit down and have a good time playing with them. You can play with up to four people on screen at once. Like the LEGO series of games, Disney Universe is a fun family game that everyone can play together. Or if you just want to collect a bunch of trophies and achievement points, well, you know this is your kind of game. Merely looking at it sideways will give you a trophy. The level designs are generally pretty good and represent the movies well, the Lion King in particular. As you can tell, the overall production value is also extremely high, and you could replay levels after you've upgraded characters to also earn more points and unlock new stuff. You can also attack enemies with a laser gun as Mickey Mouse, something I found strangely enjoyable. You'll notice there is downloadable content available for Disney Universe, and I wonder how much more they have planned, because it seems like the selection of levels and characters, as satisfying as it may be, is pretty small considering the amount of source material they have to work from. While you can unlock the character suit for Nemo, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot involving the Nemo world or other movies like Cars or Toy Story, so hopefully they're coming as DLC or maybe saving them for the sequel. Or possibly, I just haven't found them yet. There's quite a bit to do in this game. Disney fans will get a kick out of this one, especially if you enjoy the style of gameplay found in the LEGO series. I have to keep going back to that because they're so similar. Instead of building things with LEGOs, you just drag something across the screen and put it in place. Maybe, maybe it saves a step, using magic. How about more with Fantasia also? Dancing brooms never fail to disappoint, especially when they're fueled by mushrooms, like Mario. 
It's Disney Universe, enjoyable button mashing fun, collecting, exploring, unlocking, and it's even got Tron. But where's the black hole? Come on, that movie was awesome. <laughs>